G'day guys, thanks for watching. All right, today I'm gonna to talk about chains and what to look for and how you can get your chains, um, your original chains better, ready for your rebuild. Uh, obviously the best thing to do is to replace them, but if you can't afford to replace them or you don't wanna replace them and you wanna run your old ones or they're not in bad condition, I'll show you a few things that I look for to help me decide whether I'm gonna keep them, refurbish them or just chuck them out and get new ones. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so what I wanna do, is I've greased them up. I use inox or something like that, just to make it um, nice and malleable. So you want to check that they're actually moving. Every link's moving, and it's actually free from any grime and grease and stuff like that. This one was seized up. I've actually managed to get it unseized. And the way I did that was just over and over again, moving the links, getting it working, and uh, working in that inox or the cleaner, whatever you want to do. So the way I check is I roll it over my hand like this and make sure that every single link isn't jumping up, making sure they roll over my hand nicely. If it's doing that, then once you lube it and throw it back on your machine, you're gonna have no dramas at all. So that's something to look for and something that I do on ones that I'm gonna reuse just to make sure that they actually last in the machine. See how it's not conforming to my hand very nicely, you know? You've got bits like that that just won't conform. That needs some work. Don't forget to keep your chains lubed. Uh, also, when you're building your machines, make sure you do inspect them properly so you're not throwing on one that's all bound up and, and not running nicely, and that'll cause you dramas down the track. So just make sure you inspect it properly, apply your uh, lubricants, and keep your chains dry and free from any moisture because that over time will create dramas for your chains. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll catch you in the next one.